Yes, I'm here. Hello, morning again. Good morning. All right, um, this is Miss Gill. Yes, this is Miss Gill. All right, this is this is Marlon Herlock. I'm just doing this recording with Miss Gill. Um, basically, uh, she's one of the persons that have been using our fibroid buster for some time now and I, I pretty much just wanted to her to share her experience because everybody's experience is different everybody's experience is unique and um i just want to i just want persons to basically get a genuine uh first hand you know testimonial from somebody that has actually used a product so so miss uh, miss gail um just tell us how how you heard about the product in the first place well, I learned about the product to um, another client of yours. Um, I met her, well, I knew her before for a good little while. Mm. And um, she knew about my problem, having the fibroids and, and stuff. And she, um, she told me about you. She said, I should try you. And she gave me a number and... Uh, I called you and then you introduced me to me a little mm -hmm. better mm -hmm. and I started using it and I found it to be very, very, very helpful. In fact, um, when I came to you, I, I wasn't able to urinate properly because the, the fibers were so big that they were pressing down on my, my bladder. And so it was preventing me from urinating properly. And as a result, it was pushing the urine back into my kidney. Mm -hmm. And then after taking it, um, after I started taking it, then I find that I was able to urinate much better. Also, having the fibroids and having, because they have gotten so big, I was unable to sleep on my, my, my belly. Okay. But... No, I can do that. Um, I used to have a lot of pain in my lower back, especially in the center of my, my spine in the lower back. And that is, that is not, it is not so in much anymore. I and mean, then my right foot, I used to drag my right foot a lot because um, apparently most of, well, the fibroids, all of them basically rest on, on the right side of the womb and so um, it was put, put in some kind of pressure apparently on the blood vessels down um, between my 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 right ear and my um, what you call that part of your belly you the lower part of my belly and so um, uh, I used to it used, it used to give me a heavy weight in my in my in my foot and then in the right foot apparently and then um I used to drag my foot a lot. Then I also got cramps. I used to get cramps in my, my, my big toe on the right foot. Mm -hmm. But that is basically gone right now. Um so, I mean, I, I mean uh, yours um were your fiber is a bleeding one, was it a large one that, that caused um that could be seen? Well, I had one the size of a grapefruit according to the the ultrasound that was done. Mm -hmm. Um, it was the size of a small grapefruit, um, according to the, the, the um, result of the ultrasound. And, um, but it, it was more, it was more than just one. It was five of them, as I said. So all of them combined, it was apparently, and it was, to, to me, that was, that's too much. Um, and then fiber on the whole is not good for anybody. So nobody should really have this thing right. in them. Right. But, um, How many bottles did you have to take for you to to start to see results? Because remember, you you when I introduced the fibroids buster to you, um, mm -hmm. you were one of the first set of persons that started using it. A lot of persons listening would want to know how much do I, how much did you take before you started seeing positive results? About um, the last part of going down to. The first bottle, I saw results in the first bottle, but nothing being tremendous because, as I said, it's a, I, it's a whole lot of them. It's a whole lot of fibroids, and they were pretty big, and mm. apparently I've had them for years and didn't know that I, I, I had it. Yeah. I mean, I have it, so um, they were pretty big, and then um, 
But they, I saw results. I began to see results from the first bottle. And then um, by about the third bottle, I, 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 I mean, I could actually start to sleep on my belly around the third bottle. You know, so it, it's really working. And where it is now, I can, I, I can still feel it, but... I'm not feeling, it's not as big as um, used to. they used to be. Mm -hmm. They used to be, that, that, that's right. Yeah. You know, um, you know, when I, 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 I've, you know, fibroid buster, as um, many women have testified, because, you know, I have to be very careful in how I, 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 I share this information. Um, mm -hmm. I can't promise or um, anybody any result and that's the reason I'm using the approach of getting the testimonials from women that is the reason yes. why I've started the Facebook support group because yes. what I want to do is basically I want to just I want other I want women to share their testimonies so that other women can can be helped um before I gave you the product um I know I you know I've helped so many women have gotten help or has testified mm -hmm. to getting help from the product but right now I'm trying to use the approach of the testimonies and the experiences of women, you know, who have used the product, um, mm -hmm. so that other women can, in some way, identify with them. Um, I can't. I, as a person who is helping persons, cannot um, tell persons, you know, name and description and so on and so forth. So this is the yes. only medium, and I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to encourage my my most recent clients as much mm -hmm. as possible to be willing to give to share that experience because you know fibroids affect seven out of every ten women. Yes, so how many yes. bottles how many bottles have you gone so far? And some persons might want to know because fibroids affect uh, women at different age group. It mostly affect women between the age of thirty and thirty five. What age group are you in? Not necessarily I am mm. I am in my forties. Yeah, I am in my forties. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And 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 um so and, and you've had it had it for right Should I now. do you want my full age? Your full what? Do you want my full age? Well, I mean, yeah, because a person would know you anyhow. Okay, well, I'm forty five. Forty five. I'm forty five. Mm -hmm. Right, and you know, one thing I'm trying to do, Angela, is as I said, this is a you know, as long as I know that it's it's a private matter, but mm -hmm. as long as we have persons who are not willing. Um, I'm, 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 I try my best as much as possible to protect the identity of persons doing these testimonials. Yeah. But um, I really want to encourage more women that get help to share their testimonies so that yeah. other women can help. What do you think about um, other women sharing their testimonies as they get help? Well, I think it would, it would be good if they share their testimony because the bottom line is this... Um, the hospital is overrun right now with fibroid, um, fibroid um, patient, mm. and um, it, it would be good if some persons can come on in persons who have it can come on board. Who probably is on the waiting list? Uh, they probably can come on board and try the product for the time being. Mm. In in case they still want to do the operation, they can try it until they will if. When the time come to do the operation, then you know, in depending on how the the fiber in in situated, then I mean, how they depending on the size of it, then if whether or not they want to do the operation, then I don't want to continue with the product. So it would be good if they try it right. because I think I found helpful. And now I mean, I would recommend that they try it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Miss Angela. Um, thank you very much for being open, for sharing your testimony, your your experience, and um, mm -hmm. um, we, we are continuing to monitor your progress and mm -hmm. hope that, um, like the many other women that have testified to the mm -hmm. fibroids completely being gone, I hope that the very short period of time that will be your results. All right. Yes, and in fitness, Gail. I want. Gail, not Angela, Gail. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right. You recorded that. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Right. Did you record it, Angela? Uh, well, as, as I'm talking to you, the call is being recorded. So, you know, there are many persons that I deal with uh, on a mm. daily basis. So, you know. But thank you again, and um, wish you all the best. All right? All right. Thank you, too.